Today we are at Epcot celebrating the Epcot holiday festivities. Now this is going to be a little bit different than our normal vlogs. I know we say that we don't uh, usually um, do vlogs at Disney or whatever, but this time of year we want to do it. So t today we're going to go check out the Moana experience. They just opened up the, the center of Epcot. They pulled down the construction wall, so we want to check that out. And we want to try some of the holiday food and stuff around the park. Yeah, I'm really excited for that because we love doing the, the food festivals they always have. And we, I've never been here for uh, Christmas time, so this is my first time being to Epcot anything to do with Christmas, so I'm really excited to see what they have to, to try. Yeah, so we're not Disney vloggers. This is going to be a little bit more different. This is going to seem more like a daily vlog. Probably not as much B-roll and fancy music and stuff. We're just going to shoot it like a normal family trip to, to Epcot. And you're going to watch us eat a lot of food. So, let's go check out the holiday stuff and eat a lot of food. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, give me $20 <laughs> and buy me a Christmas present. Let's go. This is really neat. They've got a statue of Walt Disney overlooking the pavilion. And you see that monorail there in the background. It's a really cool sight. Really cool view. I actually heard the people was waiting for an hour to two hours to take a picture with Walt. That doesn't look like it's the case today. It looks like maybe about a 10 minute wait if you want to get that picture. Little area to just kick back and relax. This probably might be an area that's going to come into play when the construction gets done on these buildings. This part's nice. It's nice, especially on a crowded day. Looks like they got some charging stations. The new pavilion, was it worth the wait? I, I don't think so. I don't think it looks so great about it. I mean, it's basically just a garden. Yeah. And there used to be a fountain here, but now there's just like a... There's just like... Now there's just like this big centerpiece and I know there's these lights if you see these white bars are lights and, I, and it might be pretty at night to come take a look at it looks like they got this little area which you look up there all these stores is open I think the number one the number one thing about this is that the, there's more breathing room here Okay, you plug in right there, and maybe if you set it right there, I thought that'd be cool if it was like a wireless charger, but it looks like it's got a USB port down here on the bottom that everybody can kind of plug in their stuff and charge it. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice wooden bench right here. It's basically, I, I guarantee you this is going to be an area that comes more into play when those buildings are open. nice. It's really nice. I'm, I'm not getting why it took so long to build, but it's nice. Now we're headed to check out the Mayona experience. It's not Mayo. Moana. <laughs> Mayo. Mayo. Mayona. Mayona. My own. I don't know. We're not Disney adults. Guys, I mean, if you love Disney, that's going to blow your mind. If you're just here, you'll be like, huh. Okay. And then you'll move on with your life. Maybe it'll be cooler at night. I don't know. But to me, we've been here a couple times watching it, like, being built. And, like, eh. Now, to be fair with you, I personally have dropped some shade on this attraction because all I said was it's a glorified water uh, splash pad that Disney's done. <laughs> so I don't know what to think of it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. That way you know if I say it's like something to see or if like it seems like it's worth it. 
then it's probably worth it because I, I did not have high hopes for this. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I just like it's it's interactive water experiences. They've had that forever. They had that at uh, Imagination. You know that building that they've just ignored for the past 20 years? That one? They've had interactive water things there throughout Disney. So besides slapping Moana, my own on that. You're such a hater. <laughs> see what's different. So that's that's the bar we're walking in this car. That's not fair? I guess so. What do you think? I, I don't know. I want to see what it is first. Okay. I'm I'm a Floridian, true Floridian, so I stay up to date. She died. Does it seem like it's doing anything? Is it doing anything? It's hard to tell. It says touch the water string, but it wasn't doing anything when we was touching it. It's just making a lot of high-pitched noises like that makes it seem like you're doing something, I guess. I don't know. Well, this is kind of cool. like some of the stuff I don't get. But this kind of reminds me of older Epcot, even though it's my own theme. Is, hold on. Is the fact that it reminds me of older Epcot because it's like a, a, a source of like environmental protection and growing community, having a better tomorrow, which I feel like that's what Epcot, I don't feel like that's what Epcot was originally meant to be. So that part of it I can kind of appreciate. I will say that. Do you think that? That's cool. That's that's a really cool statue. What do you think? I think that statue is beautiful. So what did you think of the Mayan experience? I think it was uh, I think it was cool. Rich really liked it, and I think it would be even more fun with less people because then you could actually manipulate it because everybody's swinging their arms all at once, so who knows who's really controlling what. Yeah, like the music string thing, it just sounded like a bunch of strings because so many people was doing so much. But overall, it was a nice experience. It reminded me of old, kind of old-timey Epcot. You know, like that's what Epcot was originally meant for was like to grow, make a better tomorrow, uh, you know, that's kind of what Epcot was. So it kind of, to a way, it was the new cartoon, but at the same time, it seemed kind of like a throwback of what Epcot used to be. That idea of preserving and making better for tomorrow. So you know, in that sense, it was pretty cool. But we're here for Christmas things. So let's do some Christmas things. You ready? We're knocking it all out on this video. All right, we're at the Wine and Wedge, and there's something called a Borzen Fig Masonic Souffle. I don't even know what that is, so let's just try it. I can't find this one in the book to save my life, but it's Borzen. And it's a Borzen and Fig Masonic Souffle. I'm not sure what it is. We're going to try it. That's a little fig jam on there, some type of gravy. I'm not sure if that's a dessert or savory, but whatever it is, I like it. It's like a mixture of like French toast and fig. I don't know what this is. I think it's a dessert. Okay. <laughs> I actually think Starbucks fig. Kind of the same flavor profile that uh, or sugar plum. Oh, 
very balsamic. Yeah. But at the same time, it's is it a dessert? Let's see. This is cake. The, the souffle kind of has a cornbread taste to it. Yeah, it does. Not cornbread texture, but a sweetness like a cornbread. And then whatever's on top is sweet, and then balsamic is sour. Yeah, I like it. It's good. I don't know what it is. There's the pigs. You can see the seeds. Ready to move on to the next one? Yes. Yeah. So we're here at the char and chop, and we're getting the roasted porchetta. They got an impossible sauce, spicy sausage, and a meat assortment as well. So we got a little little porchetta. Had to pull some of the salad over the top so you could off the top so you could see it. It's got a little uh, looks like a pesto, maybe a little onion, but it's basically just a, a pork roast. I think it's pork belly rolled up. But it looks really good. So we're gonna give that a try. That's really good. Is it? Yeah, it looks. It looks pretty gross in my opinion, but it's good. <laughs> what does it taste like? Mm. Pork and some kind of pesto sauce. It's good. I like pesto. Oh yeah, I, that actually was really good. Yeah. Oh, that pork is nice. Yeah. It's got like that pesto olive oil. You can really taste the olive oil. I like the recipe for that. That'd be nice for Christmas. That's like the perfect Christmas. I've, yeah, that I've, is like a fancy Christmas dinner. <laughs> it's really good. I love Epcot. All right, we're at the Shanghai Holiday Kitchen. We're gonna try to get some of that beef noodle soup. And yeah, let's just get a beef noodle soup. We ran into some people that we know. This is the soup. They kind of stalled us out a little bit. But, man, that broth is absolutely delicious. Wow, the broth on that is delicious. You had that uh, peanut chicken skewer here last time, or the dandan noodles with the chicken. You didn't like or the peanut sauce. You didn't like it. No, I hated it. How is this? I tried peanut sauce a couple times, so I have really gave it a chance, but it, it's not for me. But this is delicious. I was scared of it because it was from the same place, and I didn't know if like they put peanut sauce in this, so, like if that's their thing over there. But there's no peanut sauce in this. It tastes really good. I actually think that this is my favorite thing so far today. Like this is this is actually really, really good. So right now, the beef noodle soup is the best so far. The sun's really in my eyes. I think that this is really yeah. good. But, <laughs> but I don't see how this is Christmassy. To me, this doesn't have any kind of, well, American Christmas flair. <laughs> if it's good enough, well, that's probably a holiday thing in China. I'm not going to pretend like I know. I say like this. If it's good, you can make it a holiday tree. If it's good, you can make it a holiday. I just got in line for nothing. It's nothing. I was trying to go here for the New Year's celebration soba. Yuzu shrimp. Sweet potato mochi cake. And a sushi tree. So this is a New Year's soba noodle. It has a dashi uh, yuzu broth, uh, tempura shrimp, and buckwheat soba noodles. Let's try this. That broth is so good. I don't know, Asians just got, like, Japanese and Chinese just got broth down. It's so good. It's that standard dashi type broth. And that shrimp, you got that shrimp soaking in. And that, that's probably the most important part. Here, taste of this. You were saying earlier that you don't think it's Christmas food, but this is holidays around the world. This yeah, is not Christmas true. around the world. The broth's really good. They didn't give us a pork. You 
pick your own food, so I didn't get a support. So. Give me one. Give me more. The noodles are good, but that broth is like really good. What do you mean better? The broth is like. Meat are kind of similar. This one's like a little less beefy than the other one was. Uh -huh. My better one had like a little more stronger beef flavor. Yeah. This one. Can you just what I mean? Like there's a white wine in it? Yeah. I think they're actually really like I like them both. They're they're both really good. But I did like the noodles in the other one better than these noodles are a little not my style. They're not bad, they're just you can tell they're like whatever you said, like weedy or yeah. not average noodles. Yeah, they're buckwheat soaking. Yeah. So what is this? Sweet potato mochi. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Give it a try. <laughs> is it good? Yeah, yeah. It is like. So somebody bit this one. We, we don't know who, but somebody did. Me! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm scared of this. <laughs> I'm a little scared too, huh? Because I don't think I like mochi. Mochi's a texture thing for me. Either yeah. you like it or you don't. I do like it. It's sweet potato flavored, so. No? no. So we don't drink too much, but we've seen this hot chocolate martini, and we thought that would be very interesting to try. That is very good. That is very good. Tiffany? I haven't had a regular martini, so I don't know what to expect of a hot chocolate one. <laughs> it's just there on the end a little bit. Like the We're not big drinkers. So we're not the ones to ask if it's like great or terrible. Would you say that that's definitely more Instagrammable than it is good? Well for me I don't really like vodka. <laughs> so. Yeah. But I will say that like if they had one without vodka it'd probably be really, really good because the the initial first frozen chocolate flavor is great. Yeah. I think. Alright, now next we got the Bouche de la Noël I don't know how to say it. But basically, it's a gingerbread with a chocolate ganache and a hazelnut cream inside. It's kind of hard, like it's been in a freezer and unthawed. I'm sure if this was fresh, it'd be really good. You can see the little pearls on it. I don't know if they do anything for it besides making it look pretty. Ganache is fine. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I think this is the worst booth we've had so far. Yeah. Yeah. So far, this is the worst booth. Yeah. Moving on. The seared salmon, the beef bouillon, and the snickerdoodle cookie. And Richard's over there looking for me. Who are you looking for, son? This is always one of the most popular uh, places to eat because of the... Um, a lot of these recipes are from Le Cellar, which is a very popular steakhouse here in Epcot. Tiffany's not a fish person, so... Are those both fish? No, this is, this, that's beef. So. Is that the beef? Where's the beef? Is that it? Like the Wendy's commercial? She's like little pieces? I don't feel beef, I just feel mashed potatoes. Maybe just beef, beef right? Yeah. Maybe that is good. I don't know. Okay. Let's go for it. This taste is like a really like hearty, like 
winter time meal. What's the flavor? It just tastes like a beef stew? Or? Yeah, I kind of like beef stew over mashed potatoes. Is it like a high quality beef stew or is it just cheaper? I think the broth of it, like the, the gravy of it and the mashed potatoes are really good. If that was the beef, whatever our, that little piece of chunk was, I didn't like the texture of it. It was too squishy. Like, not shreddy like meat, like just squishy. You're really underselling this. You see that right there? I think that's pork belly. And that was a little chunk of beef right there. But you can really taste the red wine and the herbs. I didn't say it was bad. I just, I think it is good. I just didn't know. Very heavy in the red wine. Very heavy. It tastes like maybe thyme and a little rosemary. That's what I said. It was rich and hearty tasting. <laughs> like, deep flavors. Oh, very thick. This flavor is about as deep as a sauce one. It's one of them things that tastes like it's been cooking for hours. If you was walking through snow, I've never really been in a lot of snow, but if you was walking through a big full snowy day and you haven't ate nothing and you came home to this, you'd be one happy person. This is a seared salmon with butternut squash puree, maple bourbon glaze, and a fennel arugula salad. So I want to... I don't know, I feel like you should give like a little bit of everything in there. Well that's, um, it takes a complete different direction than what you, what that... Than what you originally think that's gonna taste like because the squash almost takes on this uh, candy yam kind of thing, right? Yeah. And that bacon glaze, that it's like, it's almost like you're eating candy yams and that pepperiness from the arugula really brings it out. And really, in that, that bourbon glaze comes through and you really only taste the salmon on the finish. So, yeah. This is good. Don't get me wrong, this is good. I prefer that, mainly because when it comes to eating, I'm not a sweet person. I don't like my food to taste sweet. I like candy yams to be sweet. But like teriyaki, steak, and stuff like that, not my favorite. But for the most part, it's good. It's, it's just dove into the cookie. So that's a snickerdoodle cookie with like a Snickers bar topping. Uh, how is it, Itch? It's good. Good? Yeah. Nothing special. Yeah, see, I'm thinking snickerdoodles, like, the like the cookie they have, the Wawa. <laughs> That's yeah. really good. That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, I don't like that that much. Yeah. What's been your favorite thing so far? I think that, what we just ate, the mashed potatoes. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> that was the best? Yeah. I mean, that's just great. You definitely gotta eat to that restaurant. I don't know. Everything we've tried from there has like been really, really good. Yeah. Everything was pretty good besides... France. Yeah. The yeah. stuff we got from there wasn't that great. And that cookie, I don't like. No, I don't know. Now, we are back where we started. Did you enjoy today? I think today was great. We had a lot of food, and it surprised me how much the food was good. The Moana experience kind of surprised me too. A little bit disappointed in the center of the park. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, obviously, I guess because it took so long to build, I expected something better, you know? Yeah, there's, I just was shocked there was no, like, to me, like some real decoration. It was kind yeah. of blank. Yeah. I think it's still good though because it's a nice, you know, rest up area or charge area or whatever. Yeah. And I respect Disney vloggers because this has been, this has not been my favorite thing to vlog. No. It has not. It is very, you have to wait in a lot of lines. All the things that are worth taking a picture of, you have to wait in line to take a picture of. And I just, all the things that was good, you had to really wait in line for. It's kind of different than what we're used to. We like doing family friendly things. It's not as, Disney. I guess it's, it's its own word. But for the most part, really enjoyed today. I, I really enjoyed it, but did you enjoy it? Yeah, I think today was very nice.
nice and I think pretty much everything we ate was great. Yeah, it was. And that was pretty much it. Sorry it wasn't so fancy and stuff like that, but if I take the time to do all this, it'll take two or three days to get the video out and the closer that, you know, as soon as Christmas is over, these videos are no longer relevant. So I'm just throwing this out here, just real quick cut. And I appreciate you guys for doing it. And then we'll get back to more normal style videos. If you liked it, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I am curious to know, what are we gonna trip into next? Ah! <sighs>